Hello everybody from Highway 15 around Escondido, California. Uh, we thought it was time to do a little update and I tried a couple of times to do live but it wasn't working. We kept getting disconnected so I just thought I'd record a video and we'll upload it and give you an update on what we have been up to. So it's been about four days since we did a video. Um, we got Shelby home on Friday from the hospital and she is a handful right now. She's getting better every day, but she um, wasn't walking at all when we first brought her home, so we had to help her do everything. Um, but four days into it, she is looking much better, and she actually took about five or six steps on her own across the living room floor this morning while we were loading the car. So she's making great progress. A little background on what exactly what happened. They diagnosed Shelby with what is called meningioencephalitis. And they ran all kinds of panels to see if it was infectious disease in nature. Um, everything came back negative. They even ran like coxie and Rocky Mountain spotted fever and Lyme disease and all kinds of fungal infections and everything. She had a huge workup. Um, but on lumbar puncture, what showed was inflammatory cells consistent with an autoimmune disorder. And so uh, it caused swelling of the spinal cord, hence the diagnosis meningioencephalitis. Uh, this meant that uh, it caused, it caused um, swelling of the spinal cord. Well, I'm just totally screwed that up, didn't I? And I can't cut this, so let's start over. Uh, the spinal cord swelling caused her to not be able to walk and to have trouble using her extremities and to be in extreme pain. So we did get the pain controlled while we were still in Alaska, but when we got here and they got a definite diagnosis, they continued the steroids that we had started her on up there and then they also treated her with something called Cytosar, which is an immunomodulator. And she has to have a treatment every three to four weeks for an undetermined period of time. They said about 20% of the dogs only need a couple of treatments. About 60% of the dogs need lifelong treatment. Uh, and then some dogs don't, about 20% don't respond at all and so they don't continue the therapy. She definitely doesn't fall into that last category because she has been putting her head up and holding herself up when she goes outside, um, taking steps, and her personality is coming back 100%. She was bossing my mom's dogs around. They knew for sure that she was the queen bee as soon as she came home. And uh, she's, she's letting us know when she doesn't like food we give her, and she is really showing her personality and playing with daddy again like she always has, and so. Um, definitely improving. We're really happy to have to have Miss Shelby back, and uh, and she's looking good. Say hello, hello everybody. Yep. So uh, <clears throat> we were checking out of the Airbnb today that my mom had rented um, when Shelby first got sick, so that we could stay really close to the hospital. They were going to head back up to the Central Coast where they live and we were gonna go on to Ben's dad's house and stay there for the, for the rest of the week because um, Shelby's due for some labs later this week. And uh, then um, about three o'clock this morning, we got a text message from Ben's mom and his grandpa uh, is in the hospital and very sick. Um, They've started antibiotics, but it looks like he has a pretty bad infection, like maybe a pneumonia. They're still trying to figure it out. Um, and so we decided a better choice was to go to Hemet, where they live, and, um, and spend some time with them and see what we can, what we can find out. So Ben's grandpa is, is quite elderly. He's 91, so Ben's been lucky enough to love on him for 40-some years, 41 years, and um, but he has been a very important part of Ben's life, so this is a, definitely a stressful day and an anxious field day, and we're, we're just kind of overwhelmed because, man, the last eight weeks have been really hard around here. So 
Uh, we're in the car now. We're heading up there. Um, right now he's stable and we're getting regular updates from mom on the drive up. Um, and we're just going to have to see what happens. But um, we definitely would welcome any continued prayers and positive thoughts and well wishes for Grandpa Ski. And of course, we are so appreciative of all of your continued prayers and positive thoughts and energy and love for Shelby. I know that they made a huge difference and they definitely carried us through last week when we didn't have answers yet and we're trying to make good decisions for her. So we always appreciate your love and, and kindness and, and just being there. We really, really, really appreciate this community that we have here with you guys. So, Benjamin, is there anything else I'm supposed to tell him? Best to get back to vlogging. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, we had this whole plan of doing this great vlog this morning with you guys, and and uh, yeah, three o'clock things kind of changed. Um, so anyway, we'll keep you posted, and I think I've jabbered on long enough, and so we'll uh, we'll say goodbye for now, and. We'll keep you up to date as we figure out what's going on. Thanks for watching and we'll talk to you again soon. Thank you guys.